Hey everybody, it's Dan here. And, uh, doing something a little bit different today. Um, instead of one of our regularly scheduled tutorials, I want to uh, take this opportunity to kind of do a little uh, garden tour. And I'm going to talk about some of the plants we're growing here, um, both vegetables uh, and uh, horticultural like ornamental plants as well. So we're here at Marcy, um, one of our original gardens. Um, we have 10 vegetable beds here. As you can see, um, it's quite a large operation by our standards. We got our kale here. We got this big, beautiful bed of zucchini here. Um, these are cucumbers that I have to trellis. We have a bed of jalapenos. We have um, eggplants. We got some sweet peppers mixed in with some collards. This is, we got tomatoes, but we also have strawberries in here. Um, over here, this is an old perennial um, herb bed. So they, it's not perennials, it's, this is all uh, cilantro. And it, it just kind of reseeds and comes back every year. And we have this, uh, beautiful garden sage as well and this is an interesting one because uh, if you remember we did a video on um, crop successions and intercropping and one of the intercropping um, duos that we talked about the big one was radishes and uh, carrots and that's exactly what we uh, what John did here and the radishes have all been harvested but the carrots have not yet because they have that later maturity date and um, where the radishes were, we're eventually going to plant some broccoli. Um, one of the things I really like about this site is the, uh, the fruit trees and uh, fruit shrubs that Michael planted many years ago. So we have this incredible blackberry bush. And although they're not obviously not ripe yet, it's just full, full of blackberries. We've got the apple tree. This guy just keeps getting bigger and bigger. I can see some nice small apples on there. Um, some mint. And my personal favorite, I think maybe at any of our sites, is uh, the service berry tree, um, also known as a shad bush. And Mike planted this. Uh, Michael, you can correct me if I am wrong. I want to say it's probably almost 10 years now, maybe eight, something like that. And I love this tree um, for many reasons. The berries taste really good. But it's also a native plant, which is something that is uh, near and dear to my heart. Um, it's native to this region, so it grows really well here. And uh, those berries attract birds. And although this is a really urban area, but we do get... Um, New York City gets really incredible bird migrations. Um, and we get some migrating birds here, but we get a lot of like resident birds and nesting robins and stuff like that, who um, and, and uh, uh, cardinals. Who come and eat these berries and it's it's a really uh, it's a great addition to to this garden i think it really is a very special kind of uh, centerpiece of the horticulture here um so that's like that's much of what we're growing and it's just fairly typical for us uh we have you know a nice growing area just to kind of walk everyone through the day to day um you water you mow you weed, and when the time comes, you harvest. And we just try to move things and cycle things so that if we have an early maturing crop, it's replaced relatively quickly. Um, so I'm gonna get to that at this point. And uh, thank you for joining me on this quick garden tour. If there are any questions, if you have any things you'd like to know or things you'd like to see, just let me know, ddanza at sus.org. I'll try to make a video or I'll get back to you via email. All right? So th uh, stay safe, and uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.